Fair Entertainment Los Angeles. The official summer fair of LA is back starting July 21st through August 20th at Santa Anita Park. During the fair, experience over 90 free concerts. Watch 25 extreme live shows daily, like the Human Cannonball, Motorcycle Stunt Shows, Fan Favorite Pick Races, and Extreme Dogs, all included with your admission. Bite into famous fair food by Juicy's. Enjoy 75 rides and games, get an unlimited ride wristband, and so much more. Tickets starting at $10 or a season pass for $20. Last year sold out. Get your tickets today at statefairent.com. At Yardbird, we source our materials direct from factories, design our furniture in-house, and work directly with our customers to bring you the highest quality outdoor furniture at a fraction of the price. Visit us online at Yardbird.com or at select Pacific Sales showrooms. Several apps that can help you save at the pump for your summer road travel and everyday commute in TechSmart. Monday at 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Several new laws now in effect for our state, including one that changes the start time for most students in California. We'll explain. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera, live at LAX this morning, where the 4th of July travel rush officially underway. Conditions looking pretty good here this morning. Things running smoothly, but we do have some cancellations and delays to tell you about. I'll have the latest coming up. And good morning to you. I'm Lynette Romero in today for Jessica Holmes. LA County could be forced to bring back its indoor mask mandate. We'll tell you why and when it could happen. I'm Eric Spielman in Westwood. How strange is it to even say it? UCLA and USC playing in the Big Ten Conference? How folks are reacting to that news coming up. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. We are live in the Atlantic Ocean, sailing from the Bahamas back to Florida aboard the Disney Wish. A pair of major celebrity sightings, and one of those stars will join us on the ship here live. That looks beautiful out there. That water, oh, I tell you, nice and warm too. 10 minutes, I mean, 10 o'clock, I should say. Hey, good morning, everyone. And a great weekend in store for Southern California. 71 for the beaches today. Downtown Los Angeles, 79. 92 in the San Fernando Valley. 95, high desert, Inland Empire, 94. Orange County, Inland, 83 degrees. Frank, back to you. Mark, thank you. LAX, we'll see about a half a million passengers this 4th of July holiday weekend. It comes against a backdrop of airports nationwide battling delays and cancellations. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live at LAX with more on the holiday getaway. Carlos, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday live from LAX this morning where we're going to be seeing lots of people trying to get in and out of here for the 4th of July holiday. This, this in fact, is going to be the second busiest airport in the nation this weekend alone. No surprise. That's why we're seeing lots and lots of more people here on Terminal 7 this morning at 10 a.m. compared to what we saw all morning long here. Lines already starting to form inside the ticket encounters as well. Uh, at last check from LAX officials, there are only three cancellations so far. 98% of flights, they are on time. Many people here actually weren't expecting things to go so smoothly because yesterday things were pretty bad off to a turbulent start on this 4th of July holiday with dozens of canceled flights and delays. United Delta and American all expecting those to continue through the weekend. Unfortunately, travel site Hopper says about 25 percent of flights out of LAX are being delayed. Experts say part of the reason is because airlines have proactively canceled flights. Demand came back much faster than expected after the Omicron wave ended earlier this year and airlines scheduled more flights than they could actually fulfill this summer. Another looming issue plaguing this airport is staffing shortages, including TSA agents, air traffic controllers, and pilots. We had one change already for Monday, and so we'll just make it work. We just have to leave earlier. I mean, it's definitely good to be aware of it, but, you know, I don't think it should stop people from, you know, trying and going where they want to go, but just, you know, that is still a possibility, so just to have that in the back of their mind. Just be patient with the workers here and with yourselves. Just come prepared, make it easier for you, make it easier for them, know what to expect, and just go with the flow. Airlines like Delta have already acknowledged the staffing shortages could cause more flight disruptions this holiday. They're offering passengers a chance to rebook with no fare difference or